in today's deal, I am meeting up with pro cyclist James Piccoli from Israel Startup Nation and we're gonna give away a lot of cycling clothes. Let's go! That's good. All right, guys, I am here with James. Do you guys remember James for the channel? How's it going, man? Hi, everyone. Good season? Good season back in Montreal now, and uh, we're getting back to the real business of the year, which is uh, the second annual scavenger hunt. Yeah, and before we go on to this scavenger hunt, James, can you introduce yourself? Who do you race for, and what race have you done this year? My name is James Piccoli. I race for Team Israel Startup Nation. Uh, this year I did all sorts of races on the World Tour calendar, the Vuelta España. How was the Vuelta? That's I guess like a, some sort of a, a dream for a lot of people. How is it to race it and is those mountain stage that brutal? Yes, yes, it's <laughs> very long, very hard. It's pretty insane to race your bike for three weeks because like a lot happens in your life in three weeks. Yeah. It's like, it's not just like a race and then it's over. It's like three weeks of constant suffering, but uh, that's the dream. I live the dream. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, James. Uh, now, what are we doing today? Uh, what is this scavenger hunt and how come uh, we have uh, so much to give away? Uh, this is our second annual scavenger hunt. So if you watched uh, Charles Vumet's YouTube channel last year, you saw that we hid some packages of clothing around Montreal with uh, also a fallen soldier, RIP Tristan Elf, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan injured himself, as you saw in last week's video, he broke his elbow. Now we get tons of clothing, obviously from, from sponsors and more than we could ever use and more than I could fit in my family apartment in Montreal. So. Uh, uh, last year we had a lot of fun giving it away and uh, people had uh, a really good time figuring out our clues and we're honestly like um, amazing at figuring out the clues we did. So uh, so we're gonna try and make it a little bit harder this year. We want people to get outside at, at this time of the year. It's late November, it's one degree right now and people don't go right outside but if there's some perks to get, uh, some packages to win. I have packages here, there's a mix of stuff that was Brand new stuff that was worn in races, stuff from this year, last year. So can you unbox one? We can unbox one. So uh, let's take this one. We have oh, so we have a new pair of gloves. We have race suit. I don't think that I wore this one in the Vuelta. We have a pair of Velotos. We have fleece vest from Ooh. last year. Oh, that's yeah. And we have a nice. new base layer. So all the package is about the same, a bit all different about the same, in there. A bit different, different, different suits, different uh, little accessories, but uh, all all random, all hidden around the yeah, the trail. And how are we gonna give out the clues? Because guys, to be honest, if you see this deal, it's a couple of days, maybe a week later. It's probably too late. It's probably too late. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so. If you guys want to know about all these clues, you need to follow James and myself on Instagram because we are sharing all the tips today. So for maybe next year's scavenger hunt. Uh, so we will be doing stories. Uh, Instagram stories. All right, so you guys know what to do. Go follow us up there. James, let's suit up. It's it's cold outside. It's, really it's cool. one degree right now. Santa okay. Claus isn't complaining when Santa? it's cold. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Hey. James, you're a pro cyclist, and what just happened? I swear this never happens to me. We can't, we can't let this happen. James, I think we should do a turn of the roundabout. Make sure we're not followed. Just make, make sure. Make sure there's no cyclists following just us. Get them right off now. our tail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, do it. All right, James, I confirm nobody's on our tail. No one's on our tail. Our scent is gone. We have a car back. Have you got the name of it? Uh, gone. Yeah. Yeah, first location. We're still gonna look for uh, somewhere along here that we want to put it, but th this is the general area of uh, of the first hiding place. Cause here it's a it's a pretty like iconic world, I'd say, that for to leave Montreal and come back. Oh man, if you've ever ridden here in the summer, you need to, you need one of these, even when it's not cold, just to uh, to stop you from breathing too many bugs in. So uh, for sure, if you've ridden here in the summer and we put if you put a mosquito or you put something, you'll you'll know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, James, do we have our first clue here? If you've ever been to the Estacad and ridden it as hard as I do, uh, you have your head down and you look for these mile marker signs. And you learn quickly that they're miles and not kilometers because uh, you think you're suffering a lot if they're kilometer signs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There we go. So, M6? M6. Let's put it 
don't actually post this picture. Yeah. We can just say yeah. something about mosquitoes and, and M6. Yeah, yes. And uh, then uh, we can put the picture. I don't know, we can say we saw six mosquitoes today. Usually or, there's more, but only six mosquitoes today. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see if anyone figures it out, and then we'll put the sign. Okay, yeah, okay, I love that. I love that. <laughs> we saw. And then add the six two number one. Mosquitoes. Perfect, let's go. Let's First see. one. <laughs> Good luck, everyone, officially. <laughs> yeah. Next location, we're going back uh, back from where we came. It would be really funny if we saw someone like TT position coming like the other direction. Because <laughs> some people messaged me on Instagram, they're waiting for this contest, this, this scavenger on that. Three messages already, so people are waiting for it. There it is, the block. We've been there last year, James. Let's uh, let's put a clip here when uh, you were trying to yeah, put. Let's, let's, it's embarrassing. Don't put. Don't cut. Oh yeah, I'm putting. Down. I'm putting right yeah. now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that? Time for you to uh, do Break, that Brush is on. This is actual first take, just by the, yes. just no movie magic. <laughs> but if I miss, we'll do movie magic. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh, hey, that one is hard. I don't know how they're gonna get it. Someone's gonna have to find a stick somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. A very big close up of the electric box. Yes. And we just put 10, 20. Let's do it. That's good? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so fun. That's such a fun day on the bike here. Oh, great day. Just messing around all day. This is clue number two. I'm typing like an amateur because my hands are cold, by the yes. way. Yes, guys, oh, another reminder, choice. it's one degree yeah. right now. Testing my filming skills. Yeah, <laughs> cinematic shot. Oh, watch hey. out. Roundabout. No hands, baby. Okay, maybe, oh, hand. maybe hands for this one. Oop, hold on. Sorry. Vice filmer James here. I'm already ruining the video, terrorizing the streets. Dude, tell me, tell me you filmed that cutting that girl off. <laughs> uh, was she angry? <laughs> I, I don't think she realized she was on her phone. Uh, well, then that's the the dangers of texting and walking. We've seen two today. So even if you're walking, just put your phone down <laughs> or your camera. Oh, oh, let's go. All right, James, so it turns out we have another location and it's called the Pink House. James, can you tell us why the Pink House? Uh, well, I'm not exactly a historian, but uh, I do have Facebook. And last year on Facebook, uh, there was this big mystery as to why this house was suddenly painted pink all of a sudden, because this is like supposed to be abandoned. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah. there's a little yeah, pink house it. on the top of there. And uh, uh, it became famous and mysterious. So it goes with the theme of our mysterious <laughs> scavenger, scavenger hunt. hunt. I love it. Uh, the only thing is where we hide this. This is a pretty busy path. Oh, like look here, right there, there's a hole under the post oh, that can be accessible there. Shout out R.I.P. Our yeah. homie, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel kind of bad joking about it, but it's a funny video. Look, I can just push it on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, so I just went to go take a picture and someone says he's figured out the clue but is at work at 4.45. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, he's, uh, he's really hoping to get off work. Really really so we have someone who hasn't found it yet, but has figured it out. So if you haven't figured it out, get get rolling. Because <laughs> at 4.45, the package will be picked up. Or maybe we can do that in the pink house. This this will maybe put tomorrow, yeah. depending on how people, uh, how good people are responding. Cool. We want to make it hard. Last yeah, year, people were too good. That's true. Let's go buy one piece. I love it. Yeah, my small ring doesn't work. I'm not kidding. 
I can't. All right, guys, I have to pour you through. Can't wait. Actually? Yep. I... Hey, I ain't going fast. Uh, man, I'm dropping jeans. You just wanted to beat me up the hill. <laughs> I think it's convenient that your little ring stopped working. It's convenient. I could drop James for the first time up Clark, the steepest climb in Montreal. Yeah, I think you just rename this video uh, Dropping Pro Cyclist Up the Hill. Whoa. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way we're getting the work to do. Recurring joke of this video before we're not for a quick scenario. <laughs> rest in peace, Justin. Rest, rest in peace, bro. I love you, man. I'm sorry that I initiated the sprint. I'm sorry, I feel bad. I feel like I'm stuck on the big ring again. Alright, so here we are, the famous Ridgewood. You guys seen it a hundred times in my YouTube videos. It's my favorite climb in Montreal. Okay, Karen. Thank you. You want to do what? What's the problem? Let's go to the chain, madame. No, but you can't do it. It's all ensemenced by the lavier. Thank you. Good morning. No, we're not going to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. I I think it's the first time I pull a OK Karen. <laughs> did you did you get that uh, yeah. interaction on camera? So we might have to find a different spot. We uh we were Is it bad music maybe uh, uh, on top of music? We could find <laughs> we... <laughs> That's hilarious. She said we were trying to relieve ourselves on our property. She has no <laughs> idea what we're doing. I just poop all over the streets of Montreal in case you're wondering. Not the dogs that are walking, it's me. I, I poop personally all over Montreal. Oh, uh, that's so funny. I kind of want to keep talking to her. Do you want to keep talking to her or we should uh, introduce ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> we're what, what? Charles. We're two uh, college dropouts. We're just running around. We don't have jobs really. We're just uh, just riding our bikes for a living. Terrorizing the youth and relieving ourselves all over your beautiful city. <laughs> okay, let's, let's change spot. I go, let's go music. Sure. Music is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> My small ring doesn't work. All right, big ring. Oh, pas <laughs> ça Music. Maybe a mu uh, like a music note and a photo of that. All right, guys, so I think we, we found a good spot here. This last clue is gonna require just a little bit of naughty behavior because we have a sign here that says Paul Sassing. Which says no no passing, no, no trespassing. No trespassing, but uh, <laughs> we're, we've been a little bit naughty today, as you'll, <laughs> I'm sure you'll, you've seen. So, yeah, so this is the Music Hill, uh, uh, affectionately known in Montreal. So something with music, this picture, maybe yeah. a... Just picture. this alone, nobody will get it. But if we have a music note, it might spark people to go further down the, the, the path and they'll see it. So they'll, they'll see this it. Walk, like, let's walk like. Let's see what we can find. It's here in this little. Oh, the little ridge the little, there. Little yeah, that's hole. good. That's good. There we go. Hilariously hiking with the uh, Sorry, Bonch. Yep. Big shot to Bonch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, just push it all the way down there to the left. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect. That's perfect. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. I think we're all good. Yeah, James, this wraps up uh, our day on the bike. Wraps what a fun time! Yeah, look at this beautiful sunset. What, what a day we've uh, we've had. Nice coffee, hiding some packages. Only one altercation, and yes. uh, and uh, nice sunset. Oh, we have another. I have another message from someone who's figured out the first clue, but uh, no one has found anything yet. So people have figured it out, but 
but uh, after the races. Because I think last time we were on the weekend too, huh? So more people were maybe. Oh, maybe. No, it's yeah, like it's a... only the real committed slash unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James. So it was a pleasure. Um, where can people find you online if they want to uh, follow you? Uh, Instagram, Strava. Yeah, Strava. Huh? Uh, you got some uh, impressive rides up there. That's what I do most most of the time for my <laughs> for my living. So that's that's what I do. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this deal, please don't forget leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and Put that bell. Nailed it. Yeah, that bell. Yeah, I never called the bell, but uh, yeah, just listen, the bell. Uh, listen to James. He knows he knows the YouTube game <laughs> more than me. <laughs> so all right, so I guess we'll. Uh, it's now a tradition. We gotta get. It's we have to do it next year. Every year. Uh, shout out to our, our one missing homie once again. Yeah. Uh, shout Tristan. out Tristan. We wish speedy recovery to uh, the third elf, Tristan. Speedy recovery, and he'll be he'll be here next year to help us out. Yes, and then uh, James, I guess uh, we'll do another videos another time. We'll get you on the channel again. Thanks, right. man. Peace, guys. <laughs>